Welcome to part 4 of my tutorial on playing Chushogi. In this video I'll be talking about the one special piece about Chushogi which is the lion. The lion has a unique movement. It can move directly to any of these 24 squares within a 2 space radius. But more interestingly it can also make 2 king moves in one turn and potentially capture two pieces or capture a piece and then escape. So for example the lion can capture one piece and then another. There are restrictions that we'll talk about later especially when you're capturing a lion. It could also for example, if this piece is being defended, the lion can capture this piece and then retreat. It can even retreat back to where it started from. And this is especially useful during the end game. The lion can move one space to an unoccupied space and it can move back, effectively passing its turn. Okay, so let's talk about the restrictions. So what may happen So when a lion captures a lion there are some restrictions basically to prevent you from exchanging lions because lions are an interesting part of the game. You can always capture a lion that's one space adjacent to your own. So here 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 you can capture it. Uh, You can't, even though the lion can jump two spaces, if, the, if your opponent's lion is defended, you cannot capture it because that would entail exchanging lions, and that's what we're trying to prevent. The only exception is if you capture a piece other than a pawn or a go-between. Those are the minor pieces. Then you can capture the lion. Oh! Um, another rule is if you capture a lion, your opponent's lion, with a non-lion piece, say with a rook, uh, your opponent cannot directly counter by capturing your lion with another non-lion piece. This is basically to prevent, if, some, if your lion is being attacked, to prevent you from responding by also attacking your opponent's lion. The Kirin uh, promotes to a lion, and the same rules apply. Let me see if I can find it. The Kirin will promote to a lion, and we'll talk about promotion rules later. And the same rules apply in terms of capturing uh, lions. Um, they apply to the promoted Kirin. There are two other pieces that make lion-like moves, the Horn Falcon and the Soaring Eagle. They both make lion-like moves in a limited way, but none of the capturing lion uh, rules apply to these pieces. So the Horn Falcon can make lion-like moves in this direction, and the Soaring Eagle can make lion-like moves in a diagonally forward direction. So for example, it could capture two pieces in a row, it could capture one piece and retreat, uh, but only along these lines. It cannot capture and then retreat this way, for example. Thanks for watching.